Hello YouTube, this is Adam here from More Than Silence and today I would like to share a self-playing generative patch with you created in Ableton Live. I made it uh, in the recent days and I just wanted to tell you that I had this idea uh, to make a comprehensive uh, video on generative music but it was a too big job for me and I uh, obviously failed. But maybe in the near future I will try it again, but until then I would like to share some little ideas, uh, techniques uh, and uh, the patches that I work on uh, from week to week. And I also wanted to share a great uh, tool uh, with you. Uh, because maybe you are not interested in making generative music but you would like to use uh, something that plays continuously uh, and it's royalty free and you can that you can use in your cafe uh, or you can use it for meditation or practicing yoga or just for studying so if you visit www.generative.fm you will find hours and hours uh, of completely free uh, generative music in different styles and genres. It's a great website, so it's highly recommended. But if uh, you want to make some generative music, like uh, you can hear in the background, then please uh, stay with me. Consider to subscribe to my channel uh, because I will uh, explain uh, this patch uh, in details. Okay, so as you can see I have two different wavetable synths uh, in my rack and the heart of this uh, little patch here is really this uh, Max4 Live uh, plugin called Melopoeia which sounds like a Greek goddess for me, but I'm not sure. And it contains basically all the tools that I use in generative music for melody progression, or if you better like to call it so, uh, uh, MIDI effects. Uh, so firstly, it's a Turing machine uh, with the switch uh, keep. Uh, you can change how much uh, you would like to keep from your sequence and how much you would like to change it from bar to bar or two bars from two bars. It's also a Euclidean sequencer, uh, so you can adjust uh, the number of steps in your Euclidean rhythm. Uh, and you can also control the number of notes per bar uh, with this little switch here. Uh, swing is quite obvious, uh, such as gate, uh, this is the length of your pattern, so you can change it from one bar to four bars. Phase is uh, where your uh, sequence should start on which note. Uh, it's uh, mostly important when you have a continuous playing uh, uh, sequence, which is uh, less random. And you can transpose it very beautifully, you can change octaves, you can change the, the range of octaves and also you can uh, use this rest switch uh, to omit some of the notes from your sequence and you can all scale it to a lot of different scales i'm using the minor pentatonic scale here and what you can also do with it is that you can randomize uh, the pattern from uh, one bar to 128 bars, uh, which is really, really great. Uh, you can also shuffle and get uh, new uh, rhythms and melodies with it and uh, decide which one uh, you like. And uh, these are the values that you can put to random and that will be randomized uh, in every four bars. I'm not using it in this patch. Uh, it's just active because I'm not sure if the Turing machine uh, 
works if it's switched off. But uh, the basic, mm, I don't really have a basic pattern here because uh, wave table one uh, can be called uh, the drone or the, the background or the base, and the other one is uh, sharper plucky sounds with some echoes, and basically with the two. Uh, synth voices that I've got here and uh, the second synth uh, receiving is receiving MIDI data uh, from the same uh, Melopoeia uh, plugin yes uh, and while the first synth has a very long uh, uh, ADSR slope, uh, so the attack is very slow, uh, the decay is, uh, is uh, a little bit uh, slower, and uh, the release is, is also uh, very slower, uh, while the sustain is quite up. It's, uh, it's, it's rather like a bad sound, and because it's in poly mode, uh, the notes uh, collide so you can hear uh, more voices uh, simultaneously uh, which is helped by this uh, effect track chain uh, which is three reverbs one cut uh, with a filter on the lower ends one uh, sorry you can see it here so it's it, it's cut in the high end it's uh, cut in the middle and it's in the lower ends and uh, sometimes it's freezed and it's uh, freezed by these LFOs because I don't want uh, the sound to become overdriven. Sometimes I uh, freeze uh, some of these uh, reverbs in the effect track and sometimes I let them go. So I will demonstrate it. So, <clears throat> this is the pad. Long attack, long release. And the tempo is very, very slow 20 BPM. Minor pentatonic scale. Sounds nice, but let's listen to it without any effects. These are just uh, long notes, sometimes colliding. And because I have three different reverbs on it, it's getting kind of texture. I will put some volume. This is the high end. This is the low end. And this is the medium. Okay, the first LFO here is controlling the position of oscillator. So it's controlling, I think, this or no, oscillator two's position. So because it's a wavetable synth. It's morphing from a sine wave to a square wave. This is the square end of the wave. Because this is a sine wave, it starts morphing back to a sine wave.
and the second two LFOs are just uh, freezing, uh, they are so two faves, very slowly, in a very slow rate, uh, four bars and six bars. Uh, this is down, descending, uh, slow wave, uh, this is a rising slow wave, and they are controlling the freeze for for the high end and the low end fit to cut versions of the reverbs so this one and this one so remember that MIDI is coming uh, from the same plugin from Melopoeia and this is a very plucky sound with a short uh, decay it's a sine wave very basic no second oscillator no sub oscillator yeah and I just have a delay on it and an echo maybe without the delay it's, uh, it would be enough so basically this is what Melopoya plays. Some random sounds with a low speed in a minor pentatonic scale. Yeah. And because of the delay of and the echo in ping pong they get these this uh, other earthy effect and the body comes from the other wavetable oscillator and the reverb that is triplicated and two of them are freezed at certain points and unfreezed at others. And that's it. So I really hope you like this tutorial and uh, 
please consider to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in generative music or modular synth music or synth music. Yes, have a nice one. Bye.